What's up, Internet? As PC guys, we're used to dealing with a lot of specs and components because specifications allow us to tag a quantifiable number to a particular performance point. Aning mas mabilis na component based on specifications. But actually, there are some specifications that are not important. Yes, they provide information, but it's not useful, accurate, or actionable information. Kaya kalimutan mo na sila because they don't provide useful information and baka nakakalito pa if you fixate on these particular specifications. Hindi lang sila useless, harmful pa sila. Getting rid of that pesky watermark by obtaining an original and discounted Windows product key from our sponsor, CD Key Offer. Step one, click on the link in our video description corresponding to the version of Windows you want. I'll select Windows 10 Pro. Step two, Make an account with CD Key Offer. Step three, add to cart. Use our discount code HS20 and you'll receive a 25% discount. Stick around to the end because for sure maraming mati trigger sa spec three. First up are CPUs, and the main measurement for CPUs is Hertz. Or, nung sinaunang panahon, megahertz, and then ngayon, masabilis na tayo, gigahertz. And it sounds simple. May CPU A ka, 1 gigahertz yung speed. Tapos, may CPU B ka, 2 gigahertz yung speed. So obviously, masabilis si CPU B. But that's actually not the case a lot of the time. Yung gigahertz is only applicable to the CPUs in the same generation. So, kung may Intel CPU ka na 3 GHz, tapos may AMD CPU ka na 3.2 GHz, hindi ibig sabihin na mas mabilis yung AMD CPU. Because yun nga, yung measurement of speed is only applicable to members of the same generation and of the same brand. So, kung Intel 13th Gen may 5 GHz CPU ka, tapos yung Intel 10th Gen may 5.2 GHz. Very random examples. Hindi ibig sabihin automatically na masabilis si Intel 10th Gen because you can only use the gigahertz metric for members of the same family, of the same generation. And I mentioned before that relying on certain metrics might be harmful or misleading. We'll take a concrete example. Itong si Ryzen 5 5600G, yung base clock speed niya is 3.9 gigahertz. And this is a very good entry-level CPU even now. Value for money siya. Now, you have a very bonkers, sobrang mas mahal tong Ryzen 9 7950X3D compared to the Ryzen 5 5600G. Pero yung base speed nito in gigahertz is 4.2. 4.2, sobrang mahal. 3.9, sobrang mura. And you're thinking about it, kung nakatutok ka lang sa gigahertz, inisip mo, mas value for money si 5600G. Yung difference lang niya in terms of gigahertz is 0.3. Ang layo nung price nila, pero sobrang lapit nila in terms of gigahertz. But for CPUs, thread count is important, as well as the generation is important. The 7950X3D is of course the latest AM5 platform from AMD, plus it has the X3D architecture, which boosts its single core performance. I might have lost you, but I'm just making the point that for CPUs, there are more important and useful information points than the gigahertz. It's not very useful for determining what CPU you should get. And that's the same thing with GPUs. We measure the speed of GPUs in terms of hertz, so usually megahertz. Let's say, for example, you'd see a base speed of 1,600 megahertz and a boost speed or boost clock of 1,800 megahertz. Totoo nga naman, mas yung 1,800 megahertz compared to 1,6. But it's not a useful metric of information. Information that's more useful is one, what generation is the GPU? Because generation usually implies certain features. For example, yung NVIDIA 40 series has DLSS 3 compared to only DLSS 2 for the 30 series. NVIDIA 10 series doesn't have RTX. So a lot of the improvements can be seen on a generational aspect. Once you have the generation, you also take a look at the particular model that you're interested in in that generation. Kung 30 series, for example, 3080. Kung 40 series, 4070. 
and dun ka na naglalaro, dun ka na pipili if you're in the GPU market among all of the different 4070s or you compare the different 40 series card amongst each other. And again, on paper, megahertz is the proper measurement for speed, but it's not very useful because it doesn't compare between different cards of different manufacturers. And even from cards of the same manufacturer, features are a more important consideration compared to just raw speed. Kaya pwede mo na rin tanggalin yung megahertz as a consideration when you're looking at the information of GPUs. And ganun din sa RAM. Wag mo na tingnan yung megahertz when you're buying RAM. <laughs> Joke lang. Actually, for RAM, megahertz is a very important distinction between different RAM kits and sobrang useful niya, sobrang helpful niya to the customer in determining which RAM kit to get. Pero bago nun, the most important spec usually is the price and that extends to Windows. Fortunately, we can lower the specification or we can lower the price point of Windows with discounted keys from our sponsor. There are a variety of payment options available. Click pay now and we will finish the rest of these instructions at the latter part of our video. So stay tuned. Next up, still with GPUs, we have a lot of customers asking us for the specific watt consumption of a GPU. How many watts does that consume per hour, on load, on idle? And that's another metric that I don't find particularly useful. The useful information would be what is the recommended PSU for a particular GPU and yung manufacturer na nagpro-provide nun. NVIDIA will tell you, or oh, you're getting a 3060, then you want a X watt capacity PSU. AMD will do the same thing for its GPUs. It's true, you can measure how many watts the GPU is consuming, and it's a very seductive number. Again, with all of the stats we mentioned, it's a hard number, verifiable. You can compare it to other things, other components. But how does it help the consumer to know that right now, my GPU is consuming 184 watts? Can you act immediately on that information? Let's say you're in a game, nagbabarilan kayo, tas biglang nakita mo na, oh, naka 185 watts na ako ng GPU. Teka lang, teka lang, magdi-disengage ako and I'm gonna lower down the performance of the GPU para bumaba yung watt usage niya. I mean, again, it's a very seductive number to look at. It's trivia in the sense that, yes, you can look it up, you can measure it, but it's not a very useful metric in many situations. And like the other numbers that we've mentioned, there are specific use cases where knowing the exact watt usage of your GPU could be important. For instance, like overclocking, where you need to properly bake in the numbers. You need to bump up the voltage a little bit, which is actually different from the wattage, but may affect the wattage. So again, it becomes very complicated. It's a very minor use case. But you might be interested in the overall power consumption when you're overclocking. But for the vast majority of consumers, you don't really need to know what the watt usage of your GPU is, and that's not very useful information to have. Makiiba ba yon dun sa recommended PSU capacity to support that GPU? Yun, useful yun. But the watt usage of a GPU can be very variable from load to idle, and even on load from 80% versus 100% in a sustained capacity. Yun nga, that number will keep changing. So there are a lot of other data points that would be more useful to you if you're choosing to decide which GPU to get. Narinig mo ba yan? Ako din, hindi. But a lot of people are very afraid of the noise level of case fans. Palagi kami natatanong, maingay ba yung mga fans na yan? And that's true, just like any other data point that I've mentioned in this video, that's easily measurable. May decibel level yung mga fans, and that's even reported by the different manufacturers. But again, how is that useful practical information? Kasi number one, the case itself will already mute a lot of the fans, seal the yung mga components inside the case, and any noise coming from the components in the case will be already muted. And number two, when you use a computer, Usually, may outside noises. You're playing a game, explosion, sound effects, music, etc. Same thing with videos. Even when you're working, you usually have office mates in the background, you have chat going on, you have different sounds coming at you. So much so na hindi mo na mapapansin yung noise level ng case fans. Basically, the noise levels are so low that a lot of the other everyday sounds would muffle them or eliminate them. So on a practical level, I don't see the value of asking for the decibel level. And we do get this sometimes in our reviews on fans. May nagtatanong, well, what's the decibel level? And again, it's like, 
Yes, we can tell you that, but how would that help you? How does knowing the decibel level of a fan help you when in 98% of the use cases out there, you'll really be using the computer with some kind of noise in the background. Noise which would be sufficient to drown out the sound of 99% of the case fans out there. And again, like with the other information I presented here, there are very specific use cases where you would want everything to be super quiet. We do have a customer, he works with music, so it was a very big concern for him na whisper quiet or talagang silent yung mga fans. Yes, so there are use cases where that's possible. But for 98% of the users out there, imagine mo na lang you even use your computer sometimes with headphones. And even without headphones, you have speakers. There's usually some kind of noise emanating from the computer. So another metric for me that yes, it's measurable. Yes, it gives you information. But it's not really useful or practical information. It's another data point that we can stop obsessing about and just go on about our day, secure the knowledge that yes, our fans are turning and yes, they're cooling it and no, I don't hear them. Let's finish the installation guide of your Windows product key. After you've finished paying, you'll find your Windows product key within your account profile. Go to Windows Activator, Copy and paste that key in there, and you are good to go. Remember to use our discount code HS20 to get that 25% discount. Yon. Four data points that can be measured with a hard number, but for me, I don't find them particularly useful. Yes, you get these numbers, but on a practical level, they don't help you decide. They don't help you decide on what product to buy. They don't help you to decide on, is this the best way for me to experience a computer? That's also why I wanted to make this video to address the obsession we have with some numbers and metrics. Of course, hard numbers are good, but it's not good when we fixate on them to the extent that we forget that the numbers are only good if they provide us practical, useful information that we can take a look at and then use as a starting point for a decision. Oh, sobrang tahimik naman ng fans mo. But what's the point if you do use the computer with a lot of noise or if the case already muffles the fans? What's the point of saying that your GPU has 1600 MHz if the more important point is does it have RTX or not? Of course, there are information, data, metrics that are useful, but I feel that these four data points are not. You can delete them or at least for a vast majority of users, you can kind of stop worrying about them. Yun nga, yung sa computer, and dami kasing specs, you're constantly bombarded with things that you need to know. Well, for this video, I'm trying to relieve you of some of that burden. For me, these are four data points that you don't need to know. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.